I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 with my father and brother and I. We're at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Welcome to the Pembroke Herring Fisheries Commission meeting. It's uh, January 16th, 6 p.m. Uh, Mark Amarillo is not present tonight, so myself, Art Edgerton, will be running the meeting. And please note this meeting is being made available to the public through live video and audio broadcasts on Comcast, Government Access Channel 15, and is being recorded for broadcast of future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. This one isn't. Well, it's just, just being recorded by Pembroke Town Meeting. Yeah. Then we get to the side. <laughs> um, the first item we have to discuss is Janet Fahey is resigning because of personal reasons. Yeah, I think that was. I talked to her. Um, I talked to her last week, and she's supposed to give me all the minutes and stuff that she has. It needs to be approved. Um, I didn't get them yet. Um, she was going to drop them off from um, Sabrina, but um, evidently she didn't drop them off because I didn't get them in the mail either. So, so we not accept her resignation until she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that so, something we should vote on to accept it, or is it just that notice? Uh, it's actually the selectmen make the appointment. Okay. So the selectmen uh, will make it whenever they put it on the selectmen schedule. I didn't see it on on the 22nd, but I'll tell. Uh, Sabrina to put it on there anyway. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for my ignorance, but uh, who is Jan? She's our secretary treasurer. Okay. Um, she has she hasn't made the last few meetings because uh, her daughter. Okay. Daughter has uh, leukemia, I believe, oh. and she's going really downhill, really bad. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. um, so when, when I called her about this meeting here or whatever, sent her. Email or whatever, and she said, uh, she called and said, I can't do it. Yeah, more, uh, more, yeah, more. Yeah, so maybe in the future or something. But so maybe the board should send her a letter thanking you for her service? So it's a good idea. Yeah, maybe even a I think maybe a gift card for dinner or something. Yeah. I mean, she's been yeah. really good to us. And she has, she's been out there and everything. So I guess I gotta do the secretary and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You more than qualified. <laughs> a little qualified in the rest. Um, do you want to send a letter on what? And thank her for her service yes. to the Hanford Fisheries Commission. She was really a lot of help a lot of times. Yeah. Best wishes. Yeah. yeah. Long horn gift card, something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know if we can do that, but um, I can find. Oh, well, we can make a donation with that with, uh, yeah, within ourselves, right? Yeah, yeah, we could do it within ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, be fine with that. We each want ten bucks. Yeah, that would be fifty bucks or something. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you get that ten I gave you. <laughs> Are you yeah. kind of awesome? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, next item is all business. Um, Fish in the bog off from Mattakee Street, McCorn Street. Um, we had an event there last year. Um, fish somehow got up into the, the bog so there was a lot of water going up that way and didn't get into Olden Pond. Um, so it becomes a new breeding ground. So we know more about that. Yeah, well I, I talked to um, uh, Mr. Fulmine because um, there was some extra planks left in the uh, ditch 
uh, at uh, Manakisa Street to um, stop any water from more water from going out in the furnace, but also to block any anything that's going to be coming back in. So if the water rises in the furnace, it rises in the block. Oh, so yeah. um, then I got a call from from coal mine saying that the water level was higher than the drainage that they just put in for our Route 14 project. <laughs> so we had to take mm -hmm. the boards out and I, so then that's when I explained to Gene was that evidently they put the drainage too low because, um, They did. Yeah. You knew that. So, um, evidently they put the drainage too low because the, the water level on the board was higher and the drainage, so it it stopped any water from going in there because it was because it was too low evidently. So I explained the situation to him and said, in the spring, you know, come March, we're going to go back over there and stuff woods in there because we don't want the fish to go in there. Yeah. Um, unless it's approved by the Division of Marine Fisheries, and we would have to get water from Hanson and go through the whole thing. Um, about all of that, so I don't know about anybody else, but Rick and I spent a lot of time almost every day, <laughs> um, you know, for a couple months there, stopping there, checking it, you know, and all that stuff because it, it was it was a pain in the neck because we had to regulate the water. Mm. And no it's, regulations on it. Oh, well, there's no yeah, way to with, actually uh, actually regulate it. Just with boards, right. so we had to pull a board or put a board in right. or whatever. Really how to maintain that, and then if it rains during an event, you right. come up. You so what you did, what we didn't want was a water to go up above the ditches. Right. So we tried to keep it at the top of the ditches because because you already have fish. Because they already have fish in the ditches. So if there was eggs and all that that was in there, and they raised the water and went up higher than the ditches, they'd go out onto the bog, and then when the water dropped down, the fish would get trapped on top of the bog. Or dry out the eggs and, and you'd lose them. <coughs> yeah. You just sure. wouldn't get them back in the water. Again. So <coughs> we did a lot of regulating there for quite a while. Put a lot of time into that over there. So Is there any foresight as far as making that a something that we could could work with? I mean the Pembroke owns the box, right? All the way up until what point? All the way to answer. Yep. Right. All the way up to the ditch. Uh, uh, up the up until side, that right? that uh the ditch. The ditch, which is the, the canal, the canal that leads up to Indian Head, right? Yeah. So I mean, we, well, right. I mean, I, like you said, I mean, you have to get Massachusetts Marine Fisheries involved, and I know it would be a heck of a lot of. Hanson would like to put in the fisheries that goes up in the. Uh, so they're going to talk to right. um, Division Marine Fisheries, but they yeah. thought it was a good idea. But yeah, um, it'd be a good idea as long as. Right. We have the funding to get them up there. Yeah, no, there's only the no. way that it is now. The, the, <coughs> the cranberry bogs are too high, right. so if they put a dozer in there and level it out, right. um, they made it like a little pond in there, and then we could actually stock them with trout and something else, yeah. which would be good for people because they could go over there and fish and right. you know and all that. But they don't no escape in the winter. You know, exactly. but the problem is is that um, conservation and DPW are involved in, in controlling it. Mm -hmm. and, and they said before that the, the Gene was telling me that DEP called him and said the water's too high in the park, what are we going to weigh down? And I know last year, the year before, he had his ass chewed out because um, the water was too high in there. Mm -hmm. And it, there isn't supposed to be any water in there. At all? So, no. So evidently when they made the deed and they transferred the land yeah. to the town and all that, and conservation got involved in it, there was a lot of stipulations in there and things you couldn't do. Because yeah. we wanted to make a skating rink out of it and all that other stuff. And they said, no, you can't do that. Right. But uh, as far as the water coming down from Indian Head, how do you regulate that then? I mean, it should be either. Well, it's it locked be. off up there. Right, but well, we didn't have it this spring where the fish were getting up. And how do you, so how do you regulate regulate that upstream? Well, that doesn't yeah, have again. Called the Hanson uh, Conservation Commission, and they gave us permission to pull the boards and allow water in there. Oh, they did. Yeah. yeah. Right. So they were working with us. On, yeah, yeah. On, um, they thought it was a pretty good idea. 
thing. Oh, they liked it. They liked the idea. Yeah. They never, I mean, uh, how long has it been since? I mean, it wouldn't take that much to put a couple of small ladders in there, and, right. and they would have fish back in India. Right? Okay. Right. And, and yeah, open up a whole nother yeah. ecosystem. Oh, another, to a whole other fisheries. So yeah. theoretically help to fill um, Indian Head over on West Elm. It's the back door comes all the way back into the North River, so yeah. they got up Indian in Head and Hanson, they can come back out one of two ways, which would improve stocks. Well, they can't, they can, I don't think <coughs> they can get by uh, West Hanover. It's almost yeah, two, more, oh, yeah, two okay. separate water. Right. Yeah, there's there's one, they have two separate water grids there. Yep. But yeah. So if they fix that, they'd have two ways, but yep. otherwise than that, they can't. And that would be the same West Elm. For the fish, right? We say West Elm over by what uh, country skiing sport? Yeah. The tack fish being all packed back there. No, that's, that's oh, uh, yeah. West Elm over is um, Broadway. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If you went up Broadway, right. and I think it might be State Street or something from there, something yeah. in there. It's yeah. almost it's almost two separate watersheds. To be honest with you. Like that the pond by the Hanson Lady. It's not town hall, but the old town well, hall. Well one of them that goes the other way. Yeah, one that goes one way and the other one yeah, comes from that one, rock one. That one by the... It's one almost part of the North North River watershed compared to what ours is. One by the Hanson Town all goes to our watershed. Correct. Yes. Yeah. The other Indian ponds... And down the other us. ponds in there go the other way. Right, like Indian Town. Town watershed or something. Right. Which is almost within, but yeah. yeah. I thought one came back in around. It's... The, the, pond, the, pond, the, pond, the pond over by the Town Hall. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the town, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yep. That back feeds the Indian heads, which it's comes down to us. Nice. And then, then the um, Indian Head River watershed comes from like Rockland North. And comes, it's almost two separate watersheds. And so they're not connected through the no. back door? No, I don't think. the North River? I thought we were talking about that. No, that's not the part. It's not part. They're almost, they're almost two separate watersheds. And then, like you said, the Taunton water watershed is a little bit like, like Whitman. Whitman, yep. that's yeah, more the Taunton watershed. The Indian Head used to be the Taunton until they took the bar out of those bogs at the rotary Good. and put the canal in. Um, that was the delineation where the Herring Brook, North River watershed, and the Taunton River went yeah, through. It's a very thin line. It's, it, it's, it's old by Halifax where the Taunton watershed starts. I'm just saying it's been, been, it's been man created. <coughs> it, it did use the right. stock of those box, it didn't come this way. Right. It's, it's probably, like you said, it's pretty down it's close to what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but it's not like that anymore. It's, it's definitely a handsome watershed. I mean, we could, it, ideally, if we could if we could get something to, to like you said, hands if they're, if they're they would like to do it with all the right. random division of right. fisheries, right. Right. and they're going to have to work with DEP right. to change right. yeah. the rules that they have for conservation or whatever, yeah. because they're the ones that are saying they can't, they can't flood it. And supposedly right. one of the reasons that you can't flood it is something to do with um, the BE, TBEs or some foolish thing, some kind of chemical. PCBs. PCBs. The PCBs and pesticides. The PCBs and pesticides or something like that. the soils. Supposedly. Yeah. If, it's, if you raise the water level, then it has something to do with that. Yeah, they're afraid it's going to flush out under right. into, into, into um, big sand, because that's all springs on that side. But it, it's something that I'd be interested in. Uh, you know, any information would be great. Yeah. I think something else we have to look at before it happens is to do with the water um, sewers from 14. At the barber shop, the, the outflow is underwater as well. And I think we have to put an excluder during the incoming migration. We don't want fish breeding in the sewers, getting trapped in there. Move towards the current condition. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so we, yeah. can, we can get that. We'll that. Okay, I didn't know that was fine. Uh, so the, on the Treasury report, um, I called in and got um, you have one thousand four hundred sixty dollars left in the treasury. So um, and that's something that whatever we need for uh, to spend before June 
thirties. And you don't keep the money from the previous year, it just goes back to zero and you get whatever? Yeah, it goes right back into the general fund that we don't use it. No. But there's a lot of things that we can buy with it. Um, some of that stuff is in here that we'll talk about as we go down the line. Um, so the next thing that if you don't mind is the water wheel design mm -hmm. and engineering plans. Um, they've been submitted to the town. Um, the only one that really has them now is me. Um, this is um, this is the plan. This whole thing here is the plan to put the water wheel in the water. Back in. Hmm. In the permanent location? Yeah. Not to put it back in. This is Not 40 pages. <laughs> right? For um, a wheel? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's on a set that's of all of the. Um, this is all the specs for all the drawings, where it goes, how high it goes. Um, that was all engineered by. Mm -hmm. No engineer by an engineer. There's only one problem no. with it. With eighteen thousand dollars for the. It's not done. It's not done in crayons. So, uh, so we get what a, a stipend of eighteen hundred, and to put a water wheel in costs eighteen thousand. That's already oh, that, No, that's that's, that's only the plan. You're right. <laughs> we right. haven't even so. picked a collar yet. <laughs> 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 right. Well, the historical. Oh, no, we already have the wheels. So, so yeah, the color the, that's the already red. Red. been repainted cranberry, so we should be all set. With the there you go. Um, no, that's that's a good color. One of the things that they have on here, which is, I'm going to call an engineer and talk to him. One of the things that they have on here is. Um, Five thousand dollars. $5,000 to control the water. So that they can find the engine. Yeah. Just while they're working on it? So just stop um, the small water, is that No, just on yeah, the water. It's, it's all it's gonna take power. is a couple of us guys to get on with some uh, sandbags and we'll throw them in the thing and divert it down the other way and that's right. it because yeah. July and August there's no water there anyway. That's right. So, so um, we can charge them five thousand dollars to sandbag it? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I think we, we should do it for three fifty. Give them a bill. Yeah. Yeah. Deal. Um, yeah. Control of the water five thousand, and then there's soil we just take it out and charge it twenty thousand dollars off and put it in the tank. Um, <laughs> some of the stuff I have no idea what it is, but like the concrete three thousand dollars. What about how many sources are going to have? I'm like, holy crap! Where are they buying the concrete? So, um, <laughs> I mean, I've done yeah, a lot of construction damage. work and, yeah. Yeah, in my yeah. career, and this it's is a like, lot of concrete. Yeah, this figures out to be fifty-eight thousand dollars to put the wheel. <laughs> what? You should try sending another engineering company. So, no. but yeah, anyway. oh no, no, no some kind of like mount for this wheel. Yeah, yeah, it's already yeah that's, right, that's what all this stuff is. Well, they're they're gonna gonna wheel, right? Oh, they got to redo it. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one pitch to it. Right. Okay. But basically, what the plan say is they're gonna they're gonna dig in a trench. Mm -hmm. They're gonna build a. Uh, Concrete pad, and then in the concrete pad, they're going to build two pillars up and all reinforced steel yeah. and all that other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they'll do all of that. And then one of the things that was wrong on there that I told them was that the wheel, where the wheel was going to go, was was in the center, and it can't be it has to go over to the left because we were going to try to put in a, another the ladder in that, so that the fish can get right up the ladder instead of sliding up the sideways. Mm -hmm. So I mean I, I, I know you know I, we everybody wants this wheel but I mean as far as our is, is it really going to be worth it with as far as it's gone this far and how much money does it cost is it really worth having the, the wheel there? The, yes. the only thing that's cost is um, the <coughs> engineering fee. Yeah. And we got that out of uh, the 300th anniversary money. Yep. Because we had. Um, Twenty something thousand dollars left over, but we get another twenty five thousand dollars with the books over the library or something. So yeah. they sold those, and you know, so it's not, <coughs> it's not costing the town anymore. No, no, I understand, but it's and still money being spent on a wheel. Yeah. And, and the other, the the full design of the whole thing and all that, the fifty eight thousand or whatever. We just we finally get the money from the state. We get a hundred thousand dollars to do improvements at the work at the tournament. Okay. So um, it, it um, is doing 
the paperwork to get that money so that we can repair all the walls down there and all that. And at the same time, there's a construction work that we need to do in there and all that all at the same time. So the whole project should be all done. The wall will be reinforced where the tunnel is. Yep. That's what I mean in the plans to reinforce that old wall and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. still gonna look at that, you know, because we want to keep that, yeah, that and old I mean, school, I even, right? I, yeah. mean, I, I, I mean, would you agree with that? The first thing I remember as a kid was I waited way too many years to be old enough to go to the herring run to get right. lobster bait. Yeah, when right. I lived in Situa. And when I finally got there, I heard about the so wheel we, and so all this. And, um, yeah, let's save all that talk to that yep. so we can. <laughs> 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 We're going to be here all night. Yep. So okay. the, the sides of the structure, yep. I even told them that what we need to do is veneer it with stone so that it looks old rather than just having two pieces of concrete yeah. sticking up over yeah. the wheel yeah. to make it a nice stone face off over the whole thing mm -hmm. so that when people look at it, it looks old. So, so they put that in there too. That's all part of you know, doing the thing in there. So. Um, I just got a text from Mark. He said yes, he was going to come. But it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hopefully, we'll, there, hopefully you? it'll be all done by the time he gets here. Like. Um, so the next thing up, if you don't mind me just jumping I'll in, because, please, go ahead. Um, the next thing is the fall migration of the juvenile fish. Now, um, Brockton has agreed to spend thirty-seven thousand dollars to put in two new. Um, screening things at the uh, diversion pipe. Um, the plans have already been, engineered plans have already been designed and submitted to Division of Marine Fisheries. They've already approved it, Brad Chase approved it. And um, everything's all set with that. The only reason I put this on here was, was because um, nobody's seen any fish this fall. We're, we don't know where they went, other than the fact that we know that a mess of them made it so late. So we're really kind of hoping that this this system, as soon as they put those new screens in, that that's going to take care of any problem down there. But that's something that they have to work out with the Division of Marine Fisheries. It's not not us. So it's not really us. It's it's something that the Division of Marine Fisheries <coughs> says this is what you have to have. And then they agree to the plans or whatever. And right, right, right. Until that point, when do they stop pulling water? They yeah. started pulling water um, <laughs> right after the first of the year, right. so they got so permission. I mean, other we, than the we, master, we can't the, stop them. No, but the master division, we can. And, they, right. and I don't think they can stop them from pulling water, but they can cite them. Right. Um, you know, for any fish that that do end up in there, mm. especially like the dead ones. So I also met with um, uh, Lieutenant from the Environmental Police. He made a full report of the whole thing and all that. He's going to have that on file for us. Mm -hmm. So in case this happens again, and he's going to tell his guys to keep an eye on them. I took them down and showed them where the diversion pipe entrance exit was. I went out just before so late and showed them the other stuff. And I think either you or somebody took them around somewhere and showed them um, our ladders and all that kind of stuff that he said he'd seen. Them. So, um, and it was the same lieutenant that was down there for somebody reported that we were blocking the juvenile fish and getting into Oldham Pond. Excuse me, is that how they run? run? The juvenile fish? They run up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so, uh, he came down to investigate that and, uh, and uh, he talked to Mark about that. So, uh, but that was unfounded because we weren't blocking anything to stop the fish from coming in. We were there to make the fish come in, which we did last year. So, well, it turns out that we came in second in the state um, and just underneath the Child River. Which is the biggest run in the Northeast. Huge. Huge. Right? Um, and we came in second. No shit. Yeah. I've so seen that across the when I work at Harvard, you can see the whole bank of the Charles from both sides. It was like what we saw down here, put on a larger scale down by wow. the, the uh, automotive place. 
Yeah. With all the fish were chasing each other. Yeah. Like the whole bank for miles and miles and miles. There were just fish chasing yeah. each other. Spawning. Yeah, they it was like, well, they recorded 600 and something thousand. That's awesome. Fish this year. Yeah. We recorded 307,000. But that didn't count. Right. The next big group that came up after that, which we thought was like 50 or 60,000. We had a lot of count. Around that time, yeah. we, 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 when we were getting all those fish over, there was Correct. so many coming out and so many coming in, you didn't know what was going on. Everybody else in the state was down. Yeah, even so. Even Weymouth, I heard. The Senate, Weymouth, yeah, 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 Weymouth was 200,000. Yeah, yeah, they were at like 240 when they were at like 440 the previous year. Yeah, yeah. yeah terrible. But. What do you say causes the big changes? <clears throat> so herring fishery drags off the back of Chatham, where they take the herring of both species when they group together. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could even do it out here. Yep. Right. Well, I mean, we had a... Um, we had the pogies this year big time in, in the bay this year, which I know later in the season we have a lot of herring in, them, in Massachusetts Bay, Boston Harbor, yeah. and so on. And that's where they dump out of, out of the back river. And they were, I saw a boat full of pogies this year. And who knows what their body catch was. Yeah, I think they yeah. sinking. Do you remember? Yeah, they had to keep throwing pogies out because they miss. The whole boat, the whole boat was full of pogies. It was, it was disgusting actually because of the smell that came out of the Pogies or heroin? Heroin. Pogies, but. The pogies? Yeah, I mean, the bycatch catch is probably yeah. very close to it. Who's watching? Right. Yeah. You only have to filter out the. Um, something I was thinking where we should be prepared for Brockton to mess up. And I think we should have like a sieve that would catch juvenile um, lava from all the way up. That we could install at their outflow pipe on 27, collect evidence if it is happening, and then yeah. secure that evidence in a chain to be able to prosecute. I don't think Sabrina sent it. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. yeah. It's a detective. Well, just have the uh, base she evidence that, that, that they come off of furnace. You know, well, have base evidence the end of that pipe, which is the place to catch that. They're already dead anyways. They may not be. We don't know. No, but if they're going to lake, they're going to lake the dead anyways. Oh, right. There's no point of pulling them down. They're dead anyways at that point. I don't care if they're alive. No, no, they're dead. Sure thing. Yeah. What? Sure thing. They're not burdened. They lost their purpose. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Good, how are you? Sure Sorry I'm late. Good to see you. I'll fill you in afterwards, but we're down to uh, Brad Chase uh, repairs to the Gorham Mill yeah. Pond Dam. And um, I had just mentioned to him that Brockton had um, authorized 37000 and Brad has already approved it, the plans and all that. Oh, did you approve their plan? Uh, supposedly the plans have been approved. That's what that's what I heard. All right, because last time I talked to Brian, he said he had submitted them and he didn't get back. That was like a week ago. Yeah. But so, um, so that should be okay as long as we get it fixed. So, um, and I don't know, there's plenty of ice on the pond, but I, we were talking just a minute ago about the fall migration, and that's the only reason I put it on there, was that um, Nobody saw any fish going down this year, so we know plenty of them went up to the lake, but we don't know many. Well, the other thing, Brad was trying to get information on the people that did the uh, the weed control. Yeah. Because he wants to know when they did it and what they used, because he said that could affect it. What it could have done is, is, depending when they did it and where and whether the brooks were blocked up, now the barbershop was blocked, it could have driven the fish. Usually the fish will leave that area, if it's, but if they had nowhere to go, that it could have affected him, but I don't know if he's got that information yet. So it definitely happened. Yeah, I know, because right. they did treat and they did and treat it after they gambled. Right, so that that gave, well, all the fish and... Yeah, but they treated in September, I think. No, I mean, right after they gambled, I, 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 I was down there almost every other day. It was fish leaving, fish leaving, fish leaving. And then as soon as they gambled, it, it was, it was dead juvenile fish that where they dammed it, there was there was probably at least fifty juvenile fish underneath that bridge that were yeah. dead. Yeah. And then after that the green algae, green blue algae came and then they treated it exactly after they dammed it. And it was only supposed to be dammed for what, five days? 
It was more than more like three to four weeks. Yeah, it was a long time. It was. It was, it was a lot longer than it was supposed to be. That was one month of August. Yes. So, perhaps we had to that. Sorry. No, that's all right. That, at that point, we had juvenile fish dumping into furnace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, unbelievable. I know what conservation we voted to fund part of that project. What we didn't know when we did that funding was that the paperwork hadn't gone to the fisheries as it should. Because right, Brad got no notice on yeah, that. You right. got no notice. And they're supposed to have a form just like the DEP. So the company didn't follow through and we're voting to do stuff we really shouldn't have been voting to do. And we paid money to have them to the lower paid. part of the mill pond. <laughs> <laughs> they did it twice. Didn't they do it twice? They never did the dumb milk pond. They did right. They did not. Because I of migrating the boat going current too was part of the reason they didn't. I believe. I think we just have to. Well, watch we'll know. Things. We'll know in three years. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that was, that was Next year we could have a record run, and then we may see right. it peter off for a year, and then we may get a little overlap between the. Yeah. We'll know. Year three and year four. Because uh, we have the counter, we'll know it's a beautiful yeah. tool. Yeah. Next year shouldn't. Shouldn't be affected by what no. the juvenile ju ju said this year. At least no. two years, probably. Exactly. Right. But I mean, at that point, it's too late. The, the, we already affected the fish with what we did. No. I mean, well, yeah, but it's a, it's it, they, no. after they leave it, they come back in two and a half to three years, depending Correct. when they were spawned. Yeah. So we won't see any any either good or bad results from this year's spawn until three years from now. Yeah. Then we can go back and look, which is a lot of way they do fishery science. They look back rather than forward. That's right. They can go back and see what happened, and then they can't do anything about it. But then they can predict, better predict the future from what happened in the past. So it's and lessons learned. You know, yeah. Move forward. Well, I think Brad is going to. I I don't know what what he can do to the the company that did the lead control, but certainly they'll know that they made a mistake. Yeah. And I think he'll probably alert the conservation commission too that, yeah. but they made a mistake. Yeah, and just got an email from them today. They're already planning for the summer. Was it a weed yeah. control problem or was it a mass DOT? Well, no, it could have been a combination weeks. of both. Right. I don't think the dam would have affected them either way because no. they could have stayed in Oldham and not gone through. It wouldn't have mattered. But, but they never came out. If they, if they no, came they out. Were, they were at the time before, when they dammed it. They were, they were coming out. Yeah, but they would have. They, if there was no outlet, they would. They wouldn't have died because there's no outlet. They would swim around until they got that current. Well, I'm on that pond all the time. And I didn't see any floating. Juvenile no, they wouldn't have been. Yeah. But if they came out, and you know, right after it was dammed, and they were in, in furnace in that end of the pond where they were doing the weed control, that could have affected them. Yep. And that's what Brad doesn't know the dates and why and why there's no notification. So, but I noticed a uh, right after the first treatment on the pond in the spring, there was a small migration of very small fish fleeing. And I don't think there's enough research to know. So we need to be the people that gather this and go forward with it and learn and do a good job. It, it is an approved method by the state that this doesn't affect the fish in the pond. But they, they also admit they haven't done any research on juvenile so what is it, carbon uh, sulfate or something they yes, put in? Yes, the uh, aluminum sulfate. Aluminum, aluminum sulfate. sulfate. Yeah, it's supposed to drag the nitrates out of the water, and drag yeah. to the bottom, bottom and, then. and get it away from the sun, which kills the blue-green algae, the right. work, which drive on the nitrate at the surface of the water. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm sure Brad will give us a report one way or the other at some point. You can keep going, Bill. Okay. See you started. Um, well, actually, um, I was running the meeting tonight because he was next to me, and so, but I was filling in because a lot of these things I typed in um, that were from the last meeting, or I thought that we should talk about them here anyway. But um, the uh, okay, so we just we just talked about Brad Chase and the Gore Mill Pond deal. New equipment, yeah. so the new equipment um, needed. We have, I got the treasurer's report, and we get 1460. Um, so whatever we need for new equipment, and I just put down cameras because we had uh, we had that down there before last year. So and there's and there's no doubt in my mind that someone is messing with us oh, in, in the um, in the lattice that they put they're purposely putting stuff in the lattice. I mean, Absolutely. you can see the last time we were down there was. Um, yeah, big steel pipes. Yeah, really. Uh, Where are you gonna throw in? Big steel pipes and stuff. That they, why would they bring them down there? Yeah. So some kid will throw them in. 
that just doesn't make any sense. Now. Well, There's just a lot, a lot of weird crap that's going on. So well, if we if we were to spend the money on a camera, we should make sure we get one that you can monitor from a computer. Yeah, remote yeah. Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah, it has Bluetooth, yeah. so you don't have to go yeah. look at it. But we all should make sure that when we get one, we have to make sure that no one outside the room knows we have it, and it has to be put yeah. in a spot that someone doesn't take it home. Right. Right. See the. My idea, idea, unless we put the tile me on it, one of those <laughs> find me things, and <laughs> it, make it look like an old log. Let's go to the apple. But, but I know um, maybe when they put the equipment back in there for um, the mark again, down there, that they put it up where the uh, sun, the solar, the solar, solar panel. Maybe they put it up with a solar panel or up there somehow. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the thing. But I, you know, I think you got to keep it as far away from the spot as you can and make it inconspicuous. But I mean, if so that's something that everybody wants to buy, I'm sure we can get one of the get one anyway, and move it around if yep. we need to. Just to in, a, in a sense, you, you almost want them to be known that you have cameras yeah. there because then you know you can keep poachers out of there, you keep people. Yeah. From no, the other thing, I mean, you look, right. you look on all of these things on, on. I've got them on TV. I've got, um, all these um, eagle cameras and all those yeah, stuff, you know, Florida and all that, you yeah. put them up yeah. and watch it 24 7. Yeah. And if you want it, you just go on and yeah. punch the thing up and you can see it. I talked to a gentleman yesterday at work, he's got surveillance cameras around his house. It was $600 for four cameras. You charge it every six months and that's a Bluetooth feed. Mm -hmm. But you need electricity to run them? No, you oh. charge it once every six months. Oh, oh I didn't need, oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. And it's Bluetooth fed and it, 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 it just re a DVR recorder or, or your phone. If somebody walks on this property, it pops up. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of technology that we should probably look into either art because you're an electronic guy. See yeah. what technology we have for this game is it, if that's something you want to do. But I was positioned art somewhere with this video camera, right? Yeah, because it's I can sit there. Yeah. Well, you, honestly, you, you, probably, the drone. you could probably yeah. have a Bluetooth signal sent to your house because you live close to Cranberry Lane. Yeah. Well, yeah. I talked originally, I talked to um, Tech TV to see yeah. if they would do it in the Aaron Run. Yeah. Because if, if we put the water wheel in, this would all the plan and stuff with the water wheel. So if we, if we put the water wheel in, we definitely need something down there to be running yeah. on the Heron run down there all the time. So Absolutely. And all you would need is a wireless router in the Heron shack, which right. would cost. You might not even need that. You can use the Xfinity Wi Fi that's. It might, it it might be available, there. right? Yeah. Talk to somebody at the airport that, you know, that's, that is affiliated with us and say, can we run our cameras through Bluetooth for yeah. house? You just need an account, you need a number, and you can hook up anywhere. So. Yeah, well, technology is like everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Right. I don't know how they do that, but it's Under like... water. <laughs> it's scary, because it's, it's no matter where you go, it's Under water. Up yeah. on your, on your it's everywhere. Your iPad or your phone. Yeah. As long as it's an unsecured yeah. signal. They have secure ones now. Yeah. You, you sign into it and it's secured end to end. Well, if you want to look into the camera, I have no problem with that. If somebody wants uh, to... Are you, you, you looking at that? And yeah. Maybe she was kind of... For the next meeting, bring it up, see what we find out. So, the nice thing about fish fry this year coming up, um, I drafted up a letter and sent it to you. I have it. I want to, I want to change some of it, maybe make it longer, but i got to look at the one I sent last year okay. and see what they say. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. This so you should do that. I'm, I'm sure but that they... we got to get it from... I would get permission from the state first. Of course. Rather than look like fools if we don't... Well, I think that's what I said in there, that we have to get permission. We might as well ask the state one more time. They may yeah. say no because of the, the, the Brad idiots. Brad said that, he was a go. Brad. Oh, yeah, because Brad wants Brad to eat wa some. Brad wants to fucking <laughs> eat. Yeah, no, exactly. That, that's he's, why Brad he's, wants. He's already volunteered that he, that yeah. he wants to come and he wants, he'll cook them. And yeah, I know. No, 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 you can't cook them like that. Yeah. you got to do it this yeah. way. And it's authority have a jurisdiction, no. though. Um, but we got to make sure that uh, Dr. Well, Pierce wants to do it because he was pissed off last time when the, when the, yeah. the uh, historical commission wrote well, that the letter. Well, the thing is, no basis. If, even if we get permission, yeah, we can do it. We can do it ourselves. So uh, right. if they Separate. say no, that's why I think when I worded it in the letter there, that, that uh, what I was asking is that they work with us on it. Yeah. And, and we come to their thing and do it. And if not, then why can't we do it ourselves? Yeah. Oh, then we volunteered our time last so, year for. Uh, Absolutely nothing. I mean, all of us were there. Yeah. Why don't I send a letter to David Pierce tomorrow and see what he thinks? Yeah. Because I'd rather send him a letter saying we have permission or 
you know, and the division has approved it again. And then tell, you know, like, like you said, you know, the count was huge and yep. second in the state and all that. And then see, then they, then they're, then they're really a bunch of booms yeah, I mean, if they say no. They're asking for thousands. They're only asking for a hundred fish or something. Well, whatever they give us, yeah. I think they give us seventy-five. What did they give us last time? Seventy-five. 75 yeah. Um, my one of my foster kids has a fish processing plant in the Bedford. They don't want to do it that way. I mentioned that to him. And you can scale them. He said, no way. Nope. They don't want he, he don't want nothing to do with any of that stuff. No, I, I already know. talked to him about that. He said, no. As he says, he wants to do it his way. He's got a special way. He cuts them and cooks them. And, so so with the scales? I have no idea. We don't need to scan. Because I had mentioned it to him. The most nutritious part. Well, they, well, they want to fillet them and do them that way. I mean, that, that's... I don't you know, know what brand it is. You know, they, no they cook them with the skin on them. And then they just eat them right off of the skin. They pull the bone right out. And then they just eat them right off of the, right off the skin. But they don't eat the skin. Not that I don't think. Why don't we just create our own day anyway? And have a separate event and have it to fish instead of sort of Next year, the year after, I think. Well, let's, let's see if we can get permission first. Yeah. Okay, and we can have a fish fry without fish like they do. do you want? Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I get up a Wampanoag Wampanoag Indians come and do a demonstration of what they do, how they smoke them, do some sort of. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice thing. I feel it. More we take, we all take all you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's, I think it's personal consumption, and we all have to be its relatives. Yeah. But I'll take care of that letter. I'll do both okay. before the week's yeah. over. So I just figured I sent it to you so you yeah. could look at it and see whatever you wanted to change or add or take out or whatever. Um, the junior fisheries program, we haven't heard anything back from the school other than, you know, these guys still doing their job. They're still doing the job? And uh, what was supposed to happen was um, they were supposed to have more programs at, at the school and all that stuff, at least up at the high school. I don't know. And I think a lot of schools, systems, yeah. North Denver, Ryanville. Hallmark. So, Hallmark, yeah. So it's uh, just something that we're working yeah, on. So if something doesn't it's happen right away, it's just, we just trying to get it going, that's all. But, um, Does the high school, school have like a uh, program where you have to volunteer so much time for the time? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Do you graduate? Graduate, yeah. they do. Yeah. Yeah. And we give out, we've given out hours to, um, my um, grandson had. Yeah. yeah. So, um, he's well, Grace Jack. He's a soft uh, shop all day. I think he's a sophomore this year. Oh, really? I don't know. Yeah. Hope he knows it's the best time of his life. <laughs> <laughs> right? Gotta be a little uh, older, then it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> Things that happen early today. Yeah. The other thing is pretty easy there is that the people willing to help. Get their telephone names and telephone numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, if any of you guys know anybody that wants to help, if you can give it to me, we'll just start a list somewhere. Do we? We don't have our own website, do we? Not yet. No, we don't. No. You can put it on the town one, okay? And post it. Well, we I can't put it. You can have. Can do yeah. 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 Why don't we start a website? Well, we can get posted on the town's website for this, this go around. You can put it on the town website. Yeah. That's uh, the only ones you can put that on here at um, the library. Yeah, yeah. As far as volunteers, how many more spots are is there? Like, well, we do have spots now because there was a spot open, yeah. and Janet re Janet yeah. resigned, so there's two spots open right now. Yeah, we, we, which are uh, ones that are full time or permanent number or whatever, and the other one is an Are you still open? Did you get ready? I, I don't know what I am. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I went to. Uh, Regular, but I'm not positive. You have to check with the select. Yeah, have to check. Okay, I'll have to check the website. I don't know if I'm still. You have to go upstairs. I'll do it. We change. We right, change you. Both of you. Okay. You had to go get sworn in, right? You had yeah. to get sworn in. Well, I got sworn in originally, but yeah. Yeah. you have to do it every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or every no, every every, every time you get reappointed. Every yeah, when you get reappointed, it's yeah. every three years. So there's a, if, as far as volunteers to help us out in the rivers. Is there a really a number? Of no, volunteers? you can have as many as, as you want. I mean, it's, I mean, I know I get. I have a few buddies of mine that one lives right at um, right, Bob Block. If we were going to do something, um, 
February 14th and we put it out to all of these people and got the emails okay. and all that stuff. And right. February 14th, we're going to do a thing and we're going to walk the rivers, we're going to do this or that or whatever. So if these people looked ahead and said, I haven't got anything going on that date, so, uh, you know, and they sent back a thing and said, yeah, I'll do it. Right. And then exactly. at least we would know how many people we had. So. Something we could put on the website. And yeah. Right up, yeah. And then uh, Brad said that he's, he is dedicating his time and his guys to uh, come and help with the Harriman project. In the spring or now? Yeah. He usually does it in the spring or the summer. Yeah. Well, the summer, like most of the time. Yeah, probably, after, probably in between. Yeah. Summer. After there the was summer. that detail as far as them coming down. Well, there's a lot of pools and stuff they want to put in. Yeah. Down at the Aaron Run. Yeah. So, I don't know if I told you, Mark, but we got that $100,000. Did you Is it in the bank somewhere? Mm. Well, it's doing mm. the paperwork. Oh, yeah. it, but it's the governor released it. And oh, said good. that's fine. Take that under. Then they get 25 grand for the pool or something like that. Good. Out of that money <coughs> is going to go towards the uh, handicap accessibility. Yeah. On that. But there's, there's um, a lot of money also in CPC that they can use for handicap accessibility. So whatever we need to do to straighten out the run and the fish ladder and all the rest of the stuff to do that, and then whatever's left over, whatever we can do Good. You know, for them. And, um, the sure. shops we need, we can get through. This. We're actually going to put an article in in the warrant for our, uh, the Springtown meeting for our CPC money for that. So, if, if you do, if that project goes forward, who's going to? Is it going to be a selectman? A selectman's project? It's probably going to be at the one. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be that out yeah, of the selectman's office. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we have conservation sign. They didn't sign off on it yet. No, they, this hasn't. I just got this. Oh, okay. So this is um, the this is 40 pages mm -hmm. of explanation, and then this is all the um, the specs and all that stuff that's on it, on what it should be and all that stuff. So but that includes a new fish ladder, right? Or a new fishway, whatever. Well, that's Cranberry, right? Was that supposed to happen at some point? What Cranberry Road? The that new one. The yeah. new fish ladder there, yeah. Right. Yeah, well, he wants to put a new one in there. He wants to put a new speed, yeah. speed ladder, speed one like we have. Which is fine. It's, 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 it's definitely, it's definitely degrading at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know they did the platform up top of it and got rid of that. So we yeah. can regulate with the planks instead of... Oh, well, three years ago we did the planks. Yeah, yeah. We, we took that whole thing all over. Right. Took it all out. Right. Pushed it up right off. Right back in and told But like we said, a speedway with aluminum. Yeah, you got the top platform so you get, they're visible if counters want to go down there and count them. Yep. And well, the crash bar that was the end of the fish. That was <laughs> pathetic, the poor fish. <laughs> yeah. That excess of one eye when they got out of their black eyes. Um, I think we need to think about a weed excluder at the top of that one. Well, that's that's got to be another project for um, when they talk to uh, <laughs> I talked to Brad about that and I talked to Gene Coleman about that. Um, that we need something to get rid of all the weeds that are in there. Yep. And that all has to be engineered, designed, and go in front of the DEP and all that other kind of, all kinds of permits have to be put into that. So Doesn't like, the county have a machine? That, that yeah, the county use? has a machine. But if it's not right. done by yeah. hand, then it's you have all to build foiling. It's all, yeah. you have plug like, the water well. Shouldn't be a big deal to get it, but it's just huh. like anything, all kind of red tape and right. permits and all that stuff you're gonna go through. And, and what do you do with the waste to how to handle it? Yeah. Compost. The truck trick about this is I have plenty of room you can put some stuff in my property. Yeah. Well, yeah. the place More that they were gonna put it in at at the bog, um, you know, right off of Manakeesa Street, yeah. they can't do it. Oh really? No, they can't put it there. No. Because it's contaminated? No, there's something about DEP denied it. Hmm. So, now nah, they're going to be like, you know, looking around like, where are you going to put it now? What so, bought what on, on that either? Where did hmm. Claremont press there? Where you mean that's the, the dredging you're oh, talking about? Oh, that the dredging, now? yeah. Where, where the ramp is there? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're right uh, across the street. Oh, it chips. The old line all bottom. Yeah. No bottom. 
Yep, we got no bottle on. on. Yeah, no. so now they supposedly that was the last word I got was that they can't that they can't uh, pump the water into the whatever reason the EP gave it on. So yeah. It's in there. It was a it's a, it's a reserve there, isn't it? No bottle? We have the current conditions of Route 14 project. Um, they, and you know, you were late on this one. I talked about it up here a little bit earlier. Was that um, they put the drainage in for Route 14 down off from the one. Natakisa Street area too low because the water level on the bogs when it's when it's equal to the top of the ditches, mm -hmm. it's already over the pipe. <coughs> so they they put the drainage in there too low, and then what, uh, what Rick was saying on the drainage right at uh, the culvert that goes underneath the road. The, uh, yeah, shot, 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 yeah. Opposite side of the street. No. That culvert is under under water, under normal conditions. Yep. So in the spring, when there's going to be a lot of water coming through there, the fish are going to be going up into the sewage drainage into the sewage pipes. Not necessarily on, in the street, yeah. but there's a small. Yeah. Well, into yeah. the into yeah. the. Not they're not sewer pipes, they're drainage. Yeah, they're drainage. 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 Yeah, but off. Well street sewage. Not sewage, but oh. sewer. Street drains. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A big difference. Well, oh yeah. So, 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 much sewage. so that's kinda weird. But, um, so I don't know what they're gonna do about yeah. that. Yeah. The they knew about it before they built it. I haven't talked to the engineer about it, no. Um, but Gene called me because the water level was high on the block at the Quad Street. Said the PDP, um, you know, doesn't want the water that high, so we're going to drop it. So then that's when I explained to him about the difference between the furnace pond is high, so is the block. Yeah. So we need to put something in there to stop the juveniles from going in the next year. Um, actually, not even juveniles, the actual yeah. adults. The baby adults come up stream, yeah. The adults going in this pond. You can put board, we have boards there, right? Yeah. yeah. And boards there. The boards are up. Comparatively speaking, to to the water level of the bog, and they were still making it up right now, which the, the bog was at floodplain level, and they were still making it up. Which I don't know what the difference between furnace pond and that bog is, but it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not six inches. It's, it's, it's no feet. They're equal. That, that's they're equal. A, that's equal. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's part of the floodplain right. of furnace pond. So you can only put so many boards in there before they still get over. If we have a heavy rainfall like we did this spring. So we never seen them there before, but we had a lot of water. That's why they had the pump in there. I think an right. exclusion net is what we need to do on the downside. Like we put a temporary in, I think a proper net across that so they can't get up in there until we decide what we're doing with them up there would be a smart thing to do. Yeah, we're, we're class here. Yeah. Yeah. I think what were they doing? You know where they did the uh, Beyond the Herring Run? On Route 14, going towards 53. What did they do in that little next? Pudding Brook. New Pudding. Just Pudding beyond Brook. the airport. Yeah, that's Pudding Brook. Yeah, it's Pudding What did they do to no, that? No, not just beyond. Just yes. beyond, just beyond the, the airport. Yes, yeah, Pudding Brook. Yeah, Pudding Brook is in Pudding Brook. It's Pudding Brook. Oh yeah, so it runs from there place. down under 53. Right, it comes in. There's actually a few fingers of thing in the Pudding Brook, but what they did there was well, little Pudding Brook and Pudding. Brook. Right, okay. exactly. What they did was clear out the debris yeah. um, just so that it doesn't migrate into the new canal. And that's really what they did. Just they put a new culvert there? Just beyond the airport? Oh, they, they put, put a new big thing. Right, they, they put, put a new box culvert there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Why they had the, the culvert that they just yeah. put just beyond the airport. Yeah. 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 Why they had the machines outside of the footprint. Yeah, then they had some out that were outside the footprint. bigger, yeah. They dressed up the area and took out stuff that would become lodged in. Well, it looks like that is a bigger, bigger box cover now than the Herring Run. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was quite a, quite a project for a little nothing. It's like a small, a little swamp there. Yeah, I think that was originally supposed to go in. I think they put it in the wrong spot. Probably put it in the wrong spot. 
They could have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it surprised me because that is mass thought engineers that <laughs> they that are engineering this whole brother, correct? Yeah, they're in charge. Right. There's enough of them walking around with their little pads. And their little yeah. <laughs> fluorescent. How much long? Does anybody know how much long this project is going to take? Should be done this year, right? Should be done this year. Yeah, it should be done this year. I don't think there's a lot left to do. We no. just, I don't know if they're going to grind the whole road. Yes, well, they should because it's fungus. Oh. They're going to micro grind it. That's what I've heard. But we're from Bob Ben Scott. Well, they, they still have to put in the drainage for a first one. They didn't, that they didn't do. Oh, way up the other end. Yeah, one straight up in the field the there. The big dig. So th they're going to put the big, the big hole in there, like the original plan was? Well, that's what the original plan says. I don't know, they didn't do it this fall because they didn't see it on time to ruin something. But <laughs> <laughs> Why was it in the plan if they're not going to do it? Well, it's a little 28, 28 feet deep. That's right. Which means it's down below the water level on the furnace pond. So by 14 feet, they where, said. Where is this? Right at the end of furnace uh, lane, where on the back side of furnace? It's supposed to be three big, huge. The size of this room. Um, retention. Retention things in Under, there. Underground. underground. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and all the water from all the drains goes in there. Oh, and uh, it goes down to another one. It filtration to another system. One. Yeah, filtration. Yeah, drains. Gas so traps and oil yeah. traps and all through yeah, it. Really catch all the oil yeah. traps everywhere. Yeah. And now the water can just go right into the pond. Or right now it's going in untreated. Where's Furnace Lane? I don't know where that. I'm trying to picture it myself. I don't know where any streets are. Furnace where they... Lane is right, is right next to if you if you come out of Chips Program. Yeah. And it's on the center, the first row on the right. Oh yeah. Oh oh, well, that was fire. I know yeah. that. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, the no. fire was. Yeah. The last fire, not the yeah. not the other one. It was another one. I yeah. I yeah. Out there. A couple weeks ago. Go down there. That last. So that'll be a big fire project. Down the, that road they water it. It's on that road. It's not down that road. Wait till you see all. Do it. Wait till you see all the stuff they have to pump. I don't think they can do it. And all the trouble they have pumping here. I don't think they can do it. They said they have to close the road right off. And there's no back way out of it for emergency vehicles or anybody. So it's going to be it'll be interesting. Is no. that because they can't well, pump it? The back way out of it. It wouldn't take long to do it. But right. Yeah. Right. No. right. Well, move a few rocks. You're somebody, right. Somebody didn't want to. Uh, all the people coming and going through the yard. Uh, yep. Well, you have to pump all the water out to keep the one. I know they do it in Florida all the time. Right. It takes them a month to set up all the dewatering pumps. That's right. So they can dig a trench because it's well, so Florida. Right. You get down about two feet and you're in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You, know, you should see these systems they put in. It's like one long pipe with a whole bunch of little, like two-inch pipes every foot. Well, the yellow glaze only exists because it's only one plane. Yeah, exactly. There's, 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 no no, drop. there's a hill in Florida. Or it's a it's a landfill. Yeah. <laughs> and, there. yeah. and no rocks either. No. <laughs> So, um, then the next thing I put down is future meetings, training, and scheduling the stream work. So, we really need to try to schedule something for the stream work and get that done when everything is frozen. Because, you know, yeah. that would be a good thing to do like we did last year. Run we'll through that. We were walking on top of the frozen snow. Tundra. And all that <laughs> stuff. It was tundra at that yeah, point. Like you just yeah. walk right down through. Yeah. Oh, on, the, on top of the right ice top. on the river? Yep. That's all. Right. Through the whole ice, swamp. Ice everywhere ice around it. Not everywhere. Yeah, you're no not anywhere. stepping over things and falling over. Yeah. I mean, one day we went from... Um, everywhere. Yeah, we went from Hollowmark. Mm -hmm. Hollowmark all the way down? All, all the way through to Ice Street. Just walking on the river? Just walking on the side of the river. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, all yeah. frozen. Yeah, right. So, not the river, the stream. Like that whole section. Yeah, we left one patch on. We have to go and get that back up. That's like half. That's like so. So in the middle of that. Yeah, that's actually between Mill and Hob. You go in, Lady Slipper. Yes. I mean, you can't fall with her either. Right, right, right. That one. Yeah, it's probably. It's downstream. So we had said that he'd um, he'd be willing to come in and do send some guy Train. down. There. Yeah. He's been willing to do that for the last few years, but he just haven't done it for whatever reason. What, what is his objective going downstream as far as just an assessment? Or no, to train. No, some doing any training sessions? Train oh, really? Because so, uh, some people cut too much and some people don't cut enough. And there's yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes to. I was, yeah, more information about it for all of us, I guess. 
Well, the other thing is he has some guys that will come in and train us about the fish and all that stuff, right? Right. which is which is uh, good. So it's uh, always good to be trained so that we we'll get beat up and doing our job. The yearly meetings that we have with the with the uh, fishery wardens and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, those are really good meetings. I mean, we, we yeah. learn, at least I did. I learned yeah, a lot. Incredible. And every time I go to one of those, I learn a lot about. I met I met Brad this year, and I mean, honestly. He's He's very educational. I mean, he, he got the job for a reason. I mean, to have you and him, me and yeah. Kyle, and I know you, everybody else is pretty educated. But and he's super happy with this whole group. Good. So he's, he's, uh, yeah, that's the first thing we should schedule. He gave us. He gave a speech at the annual meeting down in uh, Sandwich. And, uh, did you, you must have got that on the video, right? Yeah. And he talked about how great number of this. He says it three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't come back in three years on playing mass DOT. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah. So we'll just work on that with Brad and stuff, and uh, maybe we can get some of them guys in. The biologists and stuff are just, I mean, they're just so smart to talk to you about fish and stuff. But Is that it? Um, I'd love to talk to them, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of all the fish I'd love to discuss with them. And then the next meeting we should have in March because that would be the only reason we're having this one is to tie up from last year mm -hmm. because we never had a, a yeah. year end yeah. meeting. Oh, right. So um, we should have one in March that opens up 2018 and say, What are we going to do for the spring migration? Because that usually starts. Well, we've been in we've been in the water in March and having them in our feet. Yeah. It's well, like, what was the first one this year? Really fish coming up. This one. Yeah. That's real early. Remember it was the late. <coughs> we were waiting, wait, wait, wait. It was like April tenth or like second yeah. of April, and all of a sudden they were like, yeah, because yeah, there was a bunch that came in, yep. then yeah. stopped, then a yeah. whole bunch came in, and then we thought they were done, and then more. Oh yeah, yeah. more yeah. came in after the counters were out. Yeah. I mean, so March, April. I mean, you're talking a small window. I, I think Matt found <coughs> the first fish. No, I didn't. Yeah, coming in. We did that. Still, we could still do a uh, walking down the streets and all that, making right. sure everything is clear and all that. So I mean, that's important. Yes, very you want to get in your guy. Yeah. I don't think we've still done that section between yeah. Center Street and the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there should be enough water to get through there, uh, yeah. just to make sure it's. That that's it's definitely you can't walk that right. It's it's. Well, we've walked, oh, we've walked it. Oh, we've walked it. Yeah, a couple hours. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> now, there's some places that are a little bit high, but yeah. I mean, I, yeah, you know, right, right, that's right. up to here when you walk through. You don't want to do it this time yeah, either. But we we made it through there. That's incredible. Some overhangs and great trout holes in there. It's a great spot. That's another thing too. You might. I don't know if you knew that. When we we're clearing, I, I didn't go last year, but I, I think it was last year, the year before, that the people from Fish and Wildlife got involved because oh, yeah. it's a it's, yeah. it's a native brook trout, right? Yeah. And it's one of the few around here, and it's only one of the only ones around here they stock brook trout in because it has native brook trout. That's right. And he's concerned that if you take too much cover away. The brook trout don't like it. Right. That's not a cut. Everything. Well, even the even the, yeah, the, the canopy, you have important. to leave as much canopy as you can because they like the yeah. shade. Yeah. So he was a little. I talked to him one time at length about. Actually, he sent me I think a big long email about leave the canopy alone, leaving places to hide because it is a. It is, and I think they stock it at Mount Nab. Yes, the yeah. That's where the president of the uh, yeah, Toronto 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 Toronto
Yes. Um, they're working on putting a cable system out there and then some planks that will be installed to work on that is what uh, Mrs. Wood said. And uh, I would like to see that. Yeah. Kind of. It's out of our jurisdiction. Eric Fisheries about well, that. Eric Fisheries about borders. We should. Where's the border? Is the border the middle of the river? The border is the river. No, the side of the middle. It's Middle. It's the middle, right? And then right, and the herring ladder is two feet on Hanover you know, South. Oh, good, then they can handle it. No. Well, they don't. They don't. They don't. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, so so any, it's any, good for them, but not bad for the fish. I think any help we could give in that direction would be a really good value. And they for actually us. had a good run this year because I never seen them. I, I went for trout fishing with him this year at my ass. And they have a tube up there, other than the, the regular run. And I've never seen herring at that tube before. I saw them for the first time. Really? Mm -hmm. you know, since I've been fishing them since I was a kid. Well, the rainbows, they just came. The rainbows, well, they start the rainbows. But there was herring waiting at that tube to go up. Hmm. So they're making it up there. They're making it pretty far. All of them, they can't get past country speed and sport. That's right. It's, it's not. Well, it's they not. can't get past West Hill. Right. There's West Hill, oh, yeah. There's a mill right there. The old mill. Right at right, right West Hill. State Street. Yeah. Yeah, there's an old mill there. Oh, yeah. Mill dam. The road yeah. is the dam. If my yet's in it. That's the dam. There's a dam right there. The my my yet's. My yet's is it? Well, they have that. They have a, a diversion too, by which I wouldn't be surprised if they get up. Well, the one that goes around the side. Right. Yes. That's it's the old. That's, that's the old where road. they were sitting. Yeah. yeah. That's where they were oh, sitting. Oh, right there. I know what I mean. This, right. I've yeah. got some big trout in that hole right oh, there. Oh yeah. 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 That's where the rainbow's roof is. Yeah. Uh, it's open. I know. It's yeah. a big hole. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I, I saw a bunch of herring sitting right there, which is too bad. I mean, like we, we said, we don't really own that fish ladder, so we, beyond that point, we can't really own that. Yeah, we might be able to, you know, take control of it. You might be willing just to say, go ahead. I like it. that. I mean, our, our, our main man is Brad, right? He's 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 ahead of us. He's he's the authority to have their place in the fold. His big project now is to get the Jones River right people yeah. to put a. Uh, ladder there to get into Silver Lake. Be beautiful. So that if, if fish <coughs> came from us and went there, at least they'd have an outlet. Right now they have no outlet. We could help seed it. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we are. Yes. Rock and pop anyway. yeah. well, <laughs> through an emulsifier. Hopefully, hopefully those days are gone. In the water. Um, I'd like to see, just on that one, again, I'd like to see us learn how to collect evidence for the sieve right down to the lava and be able to collect samples at the outflow pipe that leaves furnace down at 27. It's the end of the funnel. If we think there's an event, we collect the evidence, preserve the chain of evidence, we have something to go with within the 30-day prosecutionary period. And I think just if we were set up to do that, we'd tell Brock to go home, you know. These guys are ready to collect evidence and fine us. This is not good right now. If, if it isn't done in 30 days, water over the dam. Water well, really? over the dam. How else are you going to collect it? You know, what, were you going to wait until the fish get there and then die 15, 20 days it's later? It's too late then. Absolutely. You can't tell when they got in there. So if we collected samples right at the outflow of that diversion pipe, well, that would be a key point to collect them. Brad took samples from the, the fish kill yeah. over there, and they're trying to age them. Well, they will age them. Yeah. Just they, they have so many other things going on that the guys that do the aging um, so when they do get an age, and he'll know when when they were spawned, and then he can get an idea of when they came through the pipe or where they came from. The fact that he got them in there, I mean, where are they coming from? Oh, well, no, it's, well, it's, it's, it's obvious where they fish, come from, but that. he can he you can know tell that. if it was you know at what time, this year, what time last year, they were this year's late. fish, last year's fish, or yeah. early spawns, late spawns. I but it just takes a lot of it's painstaking to, to age fish. You have to take their their eardrum out. Right. And you have to mount it, and then you have to Slice polish it. it, and then you count the rings like a tree. Yeah. But if the fish is only a few months old, it's not a lot to count. So it's really kind of a comparison thing where they they know the age of the fish, and they. My so fear is that with Brockton having the new nets and the screens, that they'll be overconfident, and I think we can't trust them to work until they prove they work, and that we should monitor that. Well, if you see a home, if they're all plugged with fish, you know they're just stopping fish. But you can't see the lava. Oh no! Well, that's true. And that's I believe they pulled the lava, and that's how they got past us and into the into Silver Lake. This is my belief, and it's um, Phil's belief and Weymouth as well. We tried to stop it, and 
I didn't have the right match. So, well, how big of a reaction you get to well, trap the live eye? It would bug so quick with debris, it wouldn't. Well, because yeah, you can't even see them, though, right? You'd have to put it across the longest stretch, farther, far away from the intake, and have some way of cleaning the net. No, but uh, why isn't there a better, better way for them to collect water that is more controllable than just an open canal to their their flow station? There, there is nothing that that that. They, that is in anybody's power, whether it be Brock or all of them shutting it off, that controls the flow of water to their pump station. There is nothing. There's just a canal there. It's, it's oh, I think we can <coughs> just have uh, Brad maybe can take do some sampling when he thinks they might be lava. I think and we could learn to do this. Well, you have, somebody'd have to teach you, like Brad yeah. or somebody. You know, we, we, there's got to be a in the own. industry, but. Um, because if it's bad, I'll tell Brock to stop. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been very cooperative the last couple of years. They don't. How long does it take to say you call you you pick up the phone and say hey, Brock? And how so long does it take? Push your button, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Do you think some of the water leaks in through anyway when it's close? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sure it does. Sure, they absolutely open. Yeah, and yeah, that gets a lot of water over the time. They have the same thing coming well, from Bill the house. He can tell by how much water is in his dock whether it's taking water. <laughs> exactly. Or not. It's look right down it. I just think deterrent is a good thing rather than post problem. Oh, no. thanks. It can't yeah, be thanks. much to have a like a sieve cone. Well, we're gonna ask Brad that. It's something that, that I don't have the I don't sure. I don't know the answer to it. If it's something that we can do and Brad okay's it or wants to train us or come do it himself, and I don't have a problem with it. But I think that's. That's that's some real training, I think. Well, it's been a problem in the past. It's going to yeah. continue to be a oh, problem yeah. in the future. So it is definitely learn to address it. Right. If Brad is the person that we have to go for all the answers, then all right, let's start writing them down and say put Brad next to him. And if he doesn't, want, whatever he does or doesn't want to address, then so be it. Oh, well, we'll get him to a meeting. Maybe we we'll get him in March if we give him enough lead time. Yeah. It may be better to have Fitz uh, Brad during the day. Absolutely. Well, he's, he's the professional. Yeah, we're just the amateurs at this. So. Speaking of matches, maybe, um, do you want to have it on Tuesday night? I guess. Is everybody okay with Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So I got Tuesday, March 13th. As long as it's not St. Patty's Day. <laughs> That's the next day, I think. As long as it's not St. Patty's Day. <laughs> and that the 14th? 17th. You look Irish. Yeah, the 13th is. Uh, it's okay for the 13th. Yeah, do you got anything going on except for Xbox? Uh, chasing girls or anything? No. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, and then um, we can just go back to the first time you asked me why. Janet's supposed to get. Oh, the minutes of the meeting? Yeah. And get them to Sabrina or give them to me or whatever. I told them I'd start by the house and make them up to them so that we can get those approved and posted because they're supposed to be yeah. approved yeah. and posted because that's what everybody whines about that we're yeah. not doing that job because it's posted and all that stuff. Oh, well, we got lots of fish. Yeah. Yeah, it was only good three years ago. Uh, so I'll do that. Um, so Janet resigned, I think that's because of her daughter. I'm sure, yeah. So um, the guys agreed to vote to send her a letter and, um, and then throw in a, uh, like a thank you guy or a letter or whatever, saying thank you for service and all that stuff. And then give her a gift, gift card. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I said, I don't know whether we can take the money out of our account to do that. And they agreed to take the money out of their own pocket. So I'd rather take it out of my, my own pocket. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you want, you yeah. know, and I'll, I'll get the letter written and, yeah. yeah. So take um, care of it. I don't know whether we just, if anybody has any money tonight, they want to throw it up. Or, uh, we know how much sure. it gets got for. Yeah.
They're going to have to make copies to give to all of those guys. 